पहले सीपेज क्या हुआ फ्लो ऑफ वाटर थ्रू द सोइल तो जब फ्लो कर रहा है तो इस दौरान क्या होगा कोई चीज मूव कर रहा है तो मूव करने में तो कोई प्रेशर तो एग्जैक्ट कर रहा होगा ना दैट प्रेशर इज कॉल्ड सीपेज प्रेशर एंड द वैल्यू ऑफ द सीपेज प्रेशर इज इज इक्वल टू एच इनटू गामा डब्ल्यू एच इनटू गामा डब्ल्यू व्हाट इज क्लियर हो रहा है ठीक है ना Suppose if the soil sample length of the soil sample is l, if the length of the soil sample is l, and the cross sectional area is a, remember, if the length of the soil sample is l, मतलब जहाँ से seepage हो रहा है, and the cross sectional area is a, so what will be the hydraulic gradient? <coughs> I H divided by L. This is called hydraulic gradient. ये सब पढ़ चुके हम लोग हैं ना? Hydraulic gradient. So H is equal to or H is equal to I into L. Clear? If you put Here in the form of the seepage pressure, is equal to I into L gamma delta. H into gamma delta. So this is seepage pressure. Okay. If you want to calculate seepage force, if you want to calculate seepage force, force is equal to pressure into area. The seepage pressure into area. And here, seepage pressure is I into L gamma W into A. Clear? Or you can rearrange this equation I gamma W L into A. So I gamma W into volume. One more term that is called specific seepage force specific seepage force specific seepage force specific seepage force is defined as seepage force Per unit volume. Seepage force per unit volume. It means specific such seepage force. Seepage force is equal to I gamma W because you have divided with volume. Okay, so I gamma. This is one of the very important term, specific seepage force.